Let's discuss about first who am I and I, I am a senior test analyst works on Selenium BDD framework with Java and next one uh, actually this session is for only demo what is the course we are going to learn in the what are the concepts we are going to learn in the course and uh, what are the timings to the to learn the course and who can take this course and it's about me and what are the roles and responsibilities of the testers these are the basic things you have to learn first in the demo session and later on we can move on to the concepts from the uh, monday onwards okay but today tomorrow and friday these three days we can uh, see basic concepts which are required for the testers okay and let's see this slide who can take this course okay these four people can anyone can take like beginners freshers those who are looking for the jobs because they don't know idea to go to in whether it may be developer or test or whatever it is and some manual testers are planning to switch into the automation testing so those guys are so eligible for this uh, course to learn the automation concepts that can be jump into the automation role and third one is any non it background employees okay non it background employees are nothing but uh, uh, non it background employees are the like from bpo and uh, qc and they come from some sales industries okay uh, those people also uh, entering into the it background for the tester or devops engineer or else developer we are having the three roles mainly tester developer and deployment team devops okay mostly uh, if you are from non it background if you want to in into the software industry then there is a cho easy choice to in into the software company is tester in again tester we are having manual and automation tester if you know the basic knowledge of coding then it will be very easy but even if you don't know the coding if you learn this course uh, carefully with concentration then simply you can in into the automation okay and fourth one is students those who want to enter into the it industry to be frank i'm speak, speaking mostly most of the people uh, have uh, if it if it is women they were they are having some maternity leave and uh, they are later they are jumping into the testing industry and uh, few people uh, after the completion of the, their, their graduation or post graduation they haven't worked due to their backlogs whatever it is and uh, after completion of their graduation two or three years they started their career to be into the tester or developer or devops engineer those people also can make uh, eligible for this opportunity maybe few people are uh, depending on the proxy and support on all these things but what i'm telling is don't depend on any proxies and supports okay please try to crack any job with your own then there will be some satisfaction and there will be uh, it will be very easy to survive in the uh, software industry if you in into the software industry with your own knowledge okay but if you move in the any proxy proxy is nothing but they are charging one lakh or fifty thousand or to give the proxy interview for you of course you may select it for the proxy you may select it for the job through the proxy but after the selection what you will do nothing right you don't know how to survive in the industry Okay, again they are depending on the support in the support again they are charging 25,000 or 30,000 per month you are getting 45 or 50 in the salary package I used, if you have uh, experience out of 50 if you are giving 25,000 30,000 uh, to the support person monthly how much you are getting uh, to you are uh, getting to your hand maybe 20 or 15,000 is it worth of doing work in the office it's not right so if you are be careful while learning the course manual or automation testing then there is no support there is no proxy if you are concentrated learn the concepts in the class at the end of the course simply you can crack the job and you can survive easily with your own without depending on other person okay clear what i'm saying so that's what i'm going to discuss today and uh, these are the four members can take this course the next one is today objectives these are the six objectives we are going to discuss today the first one is introduction about myself it's a two lines of introduction about me and next one is testing introduction what is meant by testing and next one is what is sdlc sdlc is nothing but software development life cycle and everyone should know whether you may be tester or deployment person or else development person whoever it is everyone should know 
and what are the tools used in manual and automation testing and in this fourth point i will explain what are the major tools you are explaining we are having set of tools explaining in the course but i just make a few notes in this uh, slide and what are the major uh, tools which we are using like jenkins git mavin test ng and all these things are given a brief notes on it and later we have discussed the tester roles and responsibilities for example by the end of the course if you got uh, selected in any company okay then what is your roles and responsible as a manual tester or as a automation tester the things will be explained and the sixth one is course timings what are the course timings for this course okay and these six uh, uh, topics are the today agenda today object let's move on to the first one introduction about myself okay myself raju and having seven plus years of experience in testing industry with five years of training experience okay still i'm working in a uh, testing industry like automation engineer and having seven plus years of experience in industry and uh, by this year uh, august five years is completed for my training experience okay this is all about my introduction okay and what is our second concept second concept is testing interdesting okay can someone tell what is mean by testing in generic meaning what is mean by testing no one in generic meaning what is mean by testing i am not asking about any web application i think someone is speaking but i am not able to hear yes <clears throat> finding the errors in our application finding the okay uh, good for Anyone? the you need to find the uh, bugs okay good Anyone for the else? product effectiveness we will test okay good testing Anyone the else? quality of the software very good anyone else this interactive session is very important in my classes okay okay every time when i am teaching i will ask few questions but these few questions will change your uh, mindset okay these few questions will help you a lot at the time of interview for example uh, uh, all the interviewers are uh, not a single minded right from few members will ask the basic questions also what is meant by testing why we are using testing if that the person asks these questions this type of questions for freshers mainly okay so if they ask what is meant by testing you may have many answers right so but if you give effective answer the interviewer will inspire you okay so by that i am giving the inter i am keeping interactive sessions in every class maybe i am asking five questions or six questions in every class like by giving the interactive session but majorly here testing is nothing but we are having the expected output we are having the actual output for example there is a recently thriblar movie is released right thriblar movie released what is the expectations of the audience and what is the expectations of the director rajamouli he is expected that it will be cross so and so budget it will cross so and so collections right that is their expected output but after the releasing the after releasing the movie what will be the actual output okay if that expected output is equal to the actual output then our testing will be passed that is the testing okay here we are testing the quality okay here mainly when we are calling it as the testing is passed if the actual output is equal to the expected output example thriller movie if the actual output is not equal to the expected output then it is called testing fail what is the example son of india movie okay clear what i am telling what i am going to convey to you yet testing is nothing but you are testing the quality of the application okay here you can see here testing is a process used to identify correctness and completeness and quality of the developed computer software okay already a software is developed in that software we are checking the completeness and correctness of the software 
how the how completed the software is how the corrected the software is is there any issues in it is there any bugs in it is there any defects in it okay is that application is completely developed is there any issue with the network is there any issue with performance is there any issue with login page is there any issue with registration page we have to check all these things but the main agenda of the testing is to provide the quality product to the customer clear have any doubt about the what is mean by testing everyone is clear about the testing can someone confirm if you don't uh, didn't understand the testing we'll explain again clear about the testing what is meant by testing yes 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 okay thank you and the next one is software development life cycle okay this is very important when you are going to any industry whether you are going as a developer whether you are going as a tester whether you are going as a devops person whether you are going as a support person whatever role whatever job you are doing software development life cycle is very important in the software industry okay in the software development life cycle we are totally having the six phases the first one is requirement analysis and second one is system design and third one is implementation and fourth one is testing and fifth one is deployment and sixth one is maintenance these are the four things we are having okay requirement analysis is nothing but for example you you are the customer you reach the company tcs you need some banking application but uh, uh, you can take an example of you want to uh, do your business as a bank okay you want to uh, uh, do your business as a bank but for that bank you need a application to do the transactions online service to the customers so immediately you reach the software company to uh, these are the so and so requirements please uh, construct the uh, application for doing the transactions at that time what the software company asks you what are your requirements right that requirement will be one minute i will take this one not bad okay that uh, customer or client will ask the software company right here what how we can take client reaches the tcs company okay what are the tcs company will expect will expect the requirements from the customer who takes the requirements from the customer ba is nothing but business analyst business analyst will take requirements from the client or customer okay what is the next next step after taking the customer uh, uh, requirements from the customer okay that requirements will be discussed with qc and we'll start design the system design system design is nothing but before constructing the application or software how it looks like let's take an example of apartment before constructing the apartment they have given the blueprint how the apartment looks like how the community looks like after the design after the apartment construction is completed that is called system design once the system design done once the system design is approved by the customer and the business architect business analyst and manager and all are approved the system system design then we can start implementation okay what is mean by implementation implementation is nothing but start coding okay we are having the requirements we are having the system design we are having the manpower to construct the application then what is your next step immediately you start implementing the software it's nothing but implementation is nothing but here we can write the coding and what is the next step so once your coding part is done what is the next agenda to uh, do in the software development life cycle testing okay here uh, let's take an example this ba collect from client or customer the construction of uh, apartment 
they will provide some design how it looks like after the apartment is completed once the design is confirmed by the architect civil engineer then implementation construction of apartment is started once the construction is started how they are testing the apartment let us take in a hyderabad we are having some norms hmda layout and ghmc we are having some norms to construct the apartments or else houses after the construction of apartment is done we should get the noc certificate NOC certificate from the government. If you, if we want to get that NOC certificate from the government, we should construct that apartment as per the norms which is given by the government, right? So at that time, that uh, government uh, inspection people will come to the apartment and will check whether that apartment is constructed as per the norms or not. That is called testing in the example of construction. Okay. Once the testing is done, what will be happen? deployment is happening deployment is nothing but after testing the application if there is any errors that errors will be redirected to the developers and if there is no errors then it will be deployed to the server for example now you have joined in the go to meetings uh, software right how it works here the go to meeting application you have deployed that go to meeting code into the app dot go to meeting dot com server so if you deploy it, that's why you are able to see this application in this URL, go to meetings URL. Otherwise, we are not able to see the go to meetings URL, right? So that is nothing but deployment. Coming to the construction example, once the inspection people come and have given the NOC certificate, the people who bought flat in that apartment will come and occupy their flats. That is called deployment. What is the next step? After deployment is done, next, what is the next step? Maintenance. Maintenance is nothing but if we take the example of the uh, software again, we have, oh, sorry, we have deployed the software into app.gotomeeting.com. But after deploying, what is the, the main agenda of the GoToMeeting? To communicate with other people uh, regarding the classes, regarding some seminars, regarding, regarding some business demos, whatever it is. Okay, our main agenda in GoToMeeting is to communicate with others. But by unfortunately, we are not able to communicate with others properly. Okay, so that is the issue we found. So again, we have to reach the software company and we have to do maintenance. Or else this uh, server is, server name is there app.gotomeetings.com. It will expire after two hours, two years. After two years, you have to buy the domain again. You have to renew the domain. All these things comes under the maintenance. Okay, that part will become after deployment. If you take an example of uh, that apartment, once the people uh, occupied their flats, they have some maintenance to the watchman. They have some maintenance to the lift. They have some maintenance to the generator. All these things comes under the maintenance. Let us take an example of apartment again. Your requirement analysis is nothing but whenever you bought uh, the flat, they will give some specification which type of material is used. System design is nothing but they will give a blueprint how the apartment looks like after the construction of apartment. And third point is implementation is the construction of flats, flats as per the design. Coming to the software construction of code as per the design. Testing is nothing but once coding is done, the testers will check how it works whether the actual output reaches the expected output or not. That will be tested in the testing. Coming to the um, uh, apartment example, that inspection people come and check whether the apartment is constructed as per the norms or not. That is called testing. Once the testing is done, deploy it to the servers as per the uh, go to meetings application. And coming to the apartment example, the flat people who bought their apartment will come and occupy their flats. And after deployment is done, there is a maintenance uh, coming to the go to example for servers and some issues found in that go to application and coming to the apartment example, there is a maintenance cost like watchman and uh, uh, generator cost, lift cost, and a set of costs, right? That is called the maintenance. Is everyone clear about software development life cycle? Can someone tell what are the phases available in software development life cycle? speak out in my session everyone should speak out 
Yes, we have understood the software development life cycles. Sorry. There are mainly six phases. There are mainly okay. six phases. Okay. Uh, uh, requirement analysis, system design, implementation, testing, deployment, and maintenance. Okay, good. Anyone else? What is meant by system design? Anyone else to answer the question? When I am asking the questions, if you answer those questions, these answers will help you at the time of interview. Of course, these are the basic questions, but in front we are having the set of questions which will be asked in the interviews. If you are answers, this interactive interactive session will be feeded in your mind, or your brain will uh, make you remember at the time of interview. But if you if you are reading in your book, is different from joining in the interactive session, right? So Sorry. I am giving one more chance. Anyone others? Yes, we have a uh, six stages in the software development life cycle: uh, requirement analysis, system design, implementation, uh, testing, deployment, and maintenance. Okay. What is meant by system design in that? In six phases, what is meant by system design? Uh, system design is nothing but blueprint of the application, whatever. Uh, the requirement gathering from the client okay the, um, the blueprint it is nothing but before uh, developing the actual application uh, how it looks like how it looks like yes how it looks like will be given in mm -hmm. the system design simply ah, if the yes. interviewer ask what is meant by system design simply you can get the prototype prototype of the application in technical term, we are calling it as prototype. It's nothing but rules and regulations, protocol or prototype. It's nothing but blueprint. Okay, clear? This is about the software development life cycle. And what is the next concept? What are the tools we are mainly discussed in this course? Coming to the manual testing, we can discuss about the Excel and in this Excel, how we can write the test cases, what is the test ID, what is test scenario, what is test steps, what is actual output, what is expected output, what is the types of status available, passed, failed, untested, accepted failure. We are having set of statuses where we are denoting the which one can be discussed in manual testing. And next one is Jira. Jira is a task management tool. Most of the 95% companies are in the current industry are using the Jira tool. We'll discuss the Jira tool and later we can discuss the test trial or test link. Okay, mostly we are writing uh, test cases in Excel previously, but now the technology is developed. Mostly the companies are using the tools to write to maintain the test cases. It might be test trail or test link or IBM tool. We are having set of tools, but we are mostly concentrate on test trial. Okay, it will be most effective to see interface is most effective. That's why I took this one test trial. And coming to the automation, here also we learn the Excel concepts and Jira, test trial and test link. These three things are common in automation also. But next one is Eclipse or IntelliJ. Any one of them can be explained. Mostly we'll explain Eclipse. And later we have seen the Java core concepts. What are the uh, Java core concepts helpful in the Selenium? And later we can see the Cucumber BDD framework uh, and uh, we can see the testing G also. Testing and Selenium, Mavin is Mavin is a build tool and Jenkins is a integration tool, continuous integration and continuous deployment tool. And we are seeing the Git. Okay, these are the tools mainly we have discussed in the automation course, but the course will be very attractive. So you, you will be enjoying the course. Okay. And next one is the testing roles and responsibilities. If you got selected for automation tester or manual tester, what is your roles and responsibilities? Okay. You have to discuss this thing. Maybe few things maybe uh, didn't understand by you, but in further classes, you have an idea about what is meant by scenario, what is meant by test case and all these things. If you already have experience in manual testing and move on to the automation testing, you will get all these things. But you are uh, freshly starting your career in a testing part, then you may not have idea about all these uh, roles and responsibilities. We'll discuss in the further classes. And let's see the what are the roles and responsibilities we are having here. Uh, you are analyzing the requirements from user stories. 
and user stories is nothing but as i said that uh, the requirements will be collected by the business analyst from the customer right after collecting that uh, the communication between the tester and developer and scrum master ba and product owner will arrange a meeting and will discuss the user stories which need to be developed in particular time okay uh, we are having agile process for every three months we are having the release and few companies follow few rules we'll discuss in at the time of jira okay next one is understanding functionality of the future the manual tester should understand the manual functionality of the future if you are from automation then it's not important to understand the functionality because you for you are automating the scripts by following the steps which is written by the manual tester so so for manual testers it's very important to understand the functionality of the feature and later work closely with the development staff in all phases of development if you work closely with the development will have a good rapport between the developer and tester and there is an ease to find the more bugs okay so next one is communicate more with the developers and end users End user is nothing but we are having the user acceptance testing like integration testing so if you communicate with developers and your end users will have more um, chances to get more bugs and next question is participating in preparing test plans test plans is nothing but we are having set of test plans regression testing smoke testing sanity testing integration testing and internal team external team we are having set of things will be explained in the zoom and preparing test scenarios preparing test scenarios is nothing but uh, what we can say for example let's take an example of amazon application what is the amazon application uh, front ua initially you should log in through mobile number or else mail right so uh, to write the test cases for login functionality that login functionality can be known as test scenario what is uh, uh, the possible cases in the login functionality uh, correct username wrong password wrong username correct password wrong username wrong password correct username correct password these are the four possibilities we are having all these four possibilities is called as test cases and the login functionality i have discussed about is called as test scenarios okay and preparing test data if you want to uh, check with the wrong username in the amazon website you should have the data right which password or which username we should give okay that data should be prepared for the test cases and next one is preparing the test environment to execute the test cases mostly it will not be uh, useful for the manual testing but in automation testing uh, it will be uh, more to take the java and eclipse files and all these things okay and next one is analyzing the test cases prepared by other team members because all the test cases will not be written by the single person right the test cases which are written by you can be reviewed by other team member the test cases which is written by other team member can be reviewed by you to get the more flexibility and good performance on it okay and executing the test cases and defect tracking tool is nothing but zero tool we'll discuss in there and giving mandatory information of a defect to developer in order to fix it okay whenever there is a defect you should give the clear info about the uh, about that error to the developer then only the developer will understand that defect and will fix it and next one is retesting the fixed bugs to check for existing and check for its effect once the fix once the defect is uh, fixed by the developer you have to re retest that fix again and last but not least which is mentioned in the list is preparing suggestion documents to improve the quality of the application we have to uh, prepare some documents suggested to the uh, quality improvement of the application to the team okay these are the uh, testing roles and responsibilities i think everyone clear everything everyone is understand the points which is mentioned here and we will share this ppt to you have any doubt can go through it and this is just a demo session we'll have some more practical sessions every day uh, and at the end of the session uh, for every every day end of the session i will ask three to four questions for the uh, quiz i will give the questions questions in the chat box everyone should answer and give the answers into the chat box it will helps you to how much you learn every day how much you need to improve for next day i will give marks for the uh, for your answers also for example if i give that five questions if you answer four correct then i will give the four marks out of five that marks will gives you confidence that i yes i am understanding yes i am learning okay clear about the testing roles and responsibilities have any doubt
i hope everyone is clear if you have any doubt then you can speak out if you don't have then i will move it in the next one a uh, demo session is done almost our last one is class timings our class timings of every uh, monday to friday 8 am to 9 am it's a mandatory session but if the classes are not completed then we'll take the session saturday 10:30 to 11:30 if required it's not mandatory it's an optional based on your feedback for example if i want uh, this week saturday and uh, saturday and sunday sessions i will ask you in the friday whether all you people are okay to take the classes based on the majority count i will take it for example if 10 people are there if more than 5 people are uh, giving uh, okay thumbs up to take the classes on the saturday and sunday i will take the classes remaining people can see the recording for that saturday class if the if you guys are not interested to take the classes on weekends then i will take on it monday again. Okay. Uh, it's very clear. Let's go through this document. This is how I explained. This is how my way on the teaching. And every session will have the practical session, and every session will have the quiz at the end of the session to know how much you learn in that class and how much you are going to uh, improve for the next class. Okay, clear about have any doubt on the course? Let us speak uh -huh. out if you have any doubt. yeah how many months it will take to finish the course it's not depend on the months as per this course mm -hmm. we are having the 45 classes for the manual and automation for the manual we okay. are having the 10 days of course not 10 days okay. 10 classes okay 10 out of 45 okay. classes out of 45 classes 10 classes are manual classes and 35 classes are automation classes oh, okay, okay. that the five class 10 uh, classes or 45 classes may take uh, maybe 30 days within 40 days it will be uh, completed no 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 approx uh, not exactly approximate uh, how many days it will take just to no approximately will take 45 days like one and a half month okay okay thanks if you take the classes me. if you take the classes on weekends also then it will complete uh, very soon like if you take the classes take on weekdays Saturday, only okay then if we uh, go through weekdays only then it will be uh, one and a half month yeah depends on for example it, mm -hmm. sorry that's okay no problem for me yeah <laughs> okay for example uh, this is the session on 27th right we are having 28 yes. 29 normal sessions and we'll start our uh, course from the august 1st if we okay. take the august if you take the august first and total 20 classes will be 23 classes will be completed in august right so by yeah. the end of the uh, september our course will be completed not 10 by september 20 uh, september 15 like that our course will be completed like one and a half month it takes okay one and a half month it's okay not that much time it is less only okay but yeah. thanks yeah but please try to be in class if you uh, if you are informed then please try to attend every day because you learn many things uh, of course there is a recording session but if it is not possible to join in particular day then it's fine but uh, every day don't depend on recording sessions because uh, the recording sessions are different uh, learning the class in live is different okay yeah that's correct if we are uh, recording by youtube videos also we can we know yes yes that's what i'm telling you don't understand by youtube videos <laughs> also you can you can learn through recordings yeah but yeah. the practical approach is not available right yeah it's different uh, learning yes yes i will tell we you how follow. to resolve the errors in the programming also without depending on others I have some okay. tips and tricks to resolve your the errors one by your own but the class is also very simple it's take only uh, one hour of time i will not take more than one minute of uh, one hour for example if i start 8 o'clock will complete before 9 o'clock only okay oh, okay it will be very flexible and will will see the recording sessions also okay mm -hmm. any other doubts we are having six more time six more minutes till 9 o'clock that's it i don't have any doubts thanks what about others lavanya 
క్రాంతి కృష్ణ శివ నరేష్ బబిత ఫైవ్ మోర్ మెంబర్స్ ఆర్ ద రైట్ నథింగ్ రాజు ఇట్స్ ఫైన్ ఫర్ మీ ఓకే రిమైనింగ్ ఎవరీవన్ ప్లీజ్ క్లియర్ అబౌట్ డెమో రైట్ వాట్ ఐ స్పోక్ and what uh, what you are going to learn in the further session what are the rules and responsibilities what is software development life cycle and all these things at the end of the session i will take two classes for the very interactive session what are the interview questions asked for the manual and testers and what are the interview questions will ask for automation testers and uh, it's maybe 43rd and 44th class but 45th class will take for resume preparation how to prepare the resume by your own and how to get the calls from the companies and everything will be explained by the last day clear but one thing i am sure that if you follow the course uh, sessions every day you will not depend on any proxies and support i think all are aware about proxies and supports right it's became popular in covid situation yes yes okay, if you li- if you listen the classes carefully proxy also doesn't work mind. that much in covid situation <laughs> yes yes uh, if you listen this uh, course videos properly you will save so much time so much money and so much knowledge but if you want to go for the uh, so uh, proxy they will charge one lakh if you want support after get into the company they will charge 30000 or 25000 per month so you are getting only 40000 per month they are charging 25000 per support how much you are getting 15000 you are getting but you are struggling for morning 10 o'clock evening uh, 7 o'clock what is the use it will be better to keep calm in your house right so if you uh, listen the classes carefully then if you are good at communication you can simply move on to the manual or automation testing don't think of that i don't have coding knowledge how can i crack uh, that uh, automation testing if you have if you understand the coding then you can go to automation if you haven't understand the coding you can go to the manual testing both are equal importance in it industry without manual testing the automation testing will not works everything has their own importance in our body kidney have their own importance heart have their own importance right so every part have their own importance like that we are having manual testing different uh, their own importance automation testing there is own oh, there is, uh, oh, importance importance okay so coming to the gaming companies they will not depend on automation testing for the manual testing also they will offer 10 lakhs 20 lakhs 30 lakhs 40 lakhs also they are offering for manual testing because in game for gaming it's not possible to do automation testing because every time coding will be changed that's how we have to think of it for example if you are not interested of you, you are not able to get the knowledge on the coding then simply switch your mind to manual testing in manual testing how can i grow which companies are providing more packages uh, one of my friend one of my friend brother having two years of experience with 15 lakhs package in manual testing not automation testing how that person is getting because he is good at the functionality of the application and he knows how to crack and he knows which companies to choose these are the three points makes him to the package of 15 lakhs clear so it's purely depend on the company it's purely depend on the whether it is product based or com- service based and it purely depend on your knowledge functionality okay clear what i am saying Siva, you are asking course validity. I didn't get that course validity. Validity is nothing but lifetime. They will give videos through drive link. You can access that uh, uh, videos at any time. Okay. It's not like 10 days, 20 days, 30 days. The drive videos will be there view for forever. Clear? Okay, fine. I'm good to close the session. It's nine o'clock. We'll have another batch. So thank you for joining and we'll see you again tomorrow.